Hi everyone, my name is Dakota and welcome to this morning yoga course. In this course, I am going to be sharing with you my favorite quick morning routine. You don't need any prior yoga experience. This routine is about 10 minutes long and is best done in the morning because it will get your day off to a great start. That being said, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to this morning flow. My name is Dakota and I will be your instructor for today. For this flow, we're going to begin in child's pose. So it's always easier to get up in the morning when you're gonna come onto your mat and child's pose is gonna be the first thing you hit. You can have your knees as close together or as wide as the mat. And if that's still not comfortable, you can sit up on a block and gently fold forward. Beginning to close your eyes and allowing your body to become heavy. Inhale into your lower back as it gets wide, filling up your mat. Breathing in for a count of three. And exhaling through the nose or mouth for three, let it go. One more time, just like that, inhaling, feeling the back broaden. Exhaling through the nose or mouth, think H-A as you breathe out. Last one, really big inhale, fill up all the way. And exhaling completely. And from here, we're going to gently walk our hands over to the right side of our mat. And you can stack your left hand on top of your right for a simple side body stretch on the left side. Think of anchoring your left sitting bone down and breathe into the left side rib cage. Feel as it gets wider as you're filling up with air from the inside out. Good, and then just walk the hands to the center. Stopping here, breathing. And gently walk them over to the left side of your mat now. Stacking your right hand on top of the left. Sending the breath into the right side ribs now, allowing them to become wider I like to imagine the ribs are like an accordion and you're just filling them up with breath. Coming back, gently walking your hands to the center of your mat, we're going to come up onto an all fours position, making sure our shoulders are over our wrists, hips over knees, Arms are parallel to one another. And as we inhale, we're going to come into what's called an up cat, taking the shoulder heads back, opening across the chest, looking up towards the sky. And then as you breathe out, rippling through the spine, the tailbone lengthens, dropping the head. Two more just like that in your own breath. Creating space between the shoulders and the upper back. As you breathe out, drawing your navel towards the ceiling, making that Halloween cat shape. And allowing your head and neck to relax. Breathing in, coming into a neutral spine, we're going to take circles with the hips, going in one direction slowly, starting to open up the hips.
And now we're gonna go the opposite direction, just taking small circles. Setting your intention for this particular practice. Being grateful you showed up today. Now curling your toes under, you're gonna either keep your knees deeply bent as you take your seat high to the ceiling for a modified downward facing dog. Or if you've been doing yoga a long time, you can play with straightening your legs, beginning to yearn one heel to the floor and then the other. Otherwise, it's fine to keep your knees deeply bent and prioritizing lengthening your spine, sending the sits bones high to the sky, pressing down through all your knuckles, spreading your fingers far apart. When you're ready, rocking forward to a plank pose, so shoulders over wrists, heels pressed back, drawing your abs up and in, turning on your thighs, your abs, reaching the sternum forward and the heels back. Exhaling, sending it back to downward facing dog. Rocking onto a plank again, we're gently gonna drop to our knees, bending out the elbows, hugging the elbows in towards our sides. We're gonna go onto a little baby cobra, pressing your hips into the mat first, lengthening at your lower back, inhaling, broadening the chest. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, so your tailbone moves towards your heels, breathing in, peeling your heart off the floor. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, lower down. And on our next inhale, gently rocking back to all fours, tabletop position. Maybe shaking out a little bit. Inhaling, placing our left hand in the center of our mat, reaching up the right hand to the sky, peeling up, opening our chest for an easy twist. Big breath here. Making sure your arms are parallel to one another, like a straight line. Exhale, placing your right hand down. Maybe rolling out the wrists a little bit. Waking up the arms. Placing our right hand now in the center of our mat. Lifting up the left to reach the sky. Opening up your heart now to the other side of the room. Smiling up. Making sure your hips are still facing the front of your mat not twisting too much. Exhale, lower your left hand to meet your right. We're gonna tuck the toes, sending it back, downward facing dog. Gently pedaling at your feet. On your next inhale, gently lift the right leg up to the sky. Exhaling, crunching it into your nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, crunching it in. Inhale, lifting up. Exhaling, meeting it down to the ground. On your next inhale, your left leg rises. Exhale, crunch it in to meet your nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift up. Gently place it on the ground to meet your right. 
Inhale, right leg lifts high to the sky, squaring the hips, and now stacking the right hip over the left. Drawing baby circles with your hip and your foot. Opening up the hip. Squaring off the right leg now. And gently dropping it to the ground. Pedaling out the feet. Inhale, lift up the left leg. Squaring off the hips. Now stacking the left hip on top of the right. Gently making small circles with the foot and the hip. Bringing the foot back down to meet the right. Pedaling out your feet and gently dropping to your knees. Sitting back into a closed kneed child's pose. Maybe tenting the fingers, only having the fingertips on your mat. Or maybe putting your hands to meet your feet and giving them a nice massage. Thanking yourself for coming to the mat this morning. Maybe rubbing your forehead on the mat from side to side. Now I want you to set your own intention for the day. Let yesterday be yesterday, and tomorrow be tomorrow. Live today for you. Now if you're a people pleaser like myself, this is a rather hard decision to make. Letting your decisions throughout the day be about yourself and not living it for other people. I want you to think about this throughout the day and be present in the moment. When an opportunity arises for you to make a decision, think about your wants and your needs, not about what other people are going to think. But if it's the right thing to do, because it's what you want. Gently sweep the arms underneath the shoulders and move into a tabletop position. Swinging the legs around into a seated position in the center of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center and then to third eye. The light in me honors and sees the light in each and every one of you. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this morning yoga routine with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please comment in my messages if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next practice.